Hey guys, no matter which iPad you've got, this video is for you. Since it's gonna be the exact same instructions for all of them. All right guys, so this tutorial again, it's for everybody. It doesn't matter which iPad you've got. If you wanna transfer information from one iPad to another, this is how you do it. So we're just gonna get started with the setup. Just turn on the new iPad. To turn it on, just make sure to hold on to the power key until you see an Apple logo. That means it's turning on. Then here comes the setup process. So we're gonna see this. So here comes the setup process. If you had your other iPad beside it and it was turned on, right away you would see something like so, telling you if you want to set up this new iPad using your current Apple ID. However, let's say it doesn't give you that. So let me close that because it's not gonna say that for everybody. So let's just skip that part. If it does go ahead and use that, so just set it up and tap on that window. However, if it doesn't, don't worry about it. Just go right into your settings on your old iPad. So this is my old iPad on the left hand side. And then not everybody's gonna see this, but most of you will. Your second option will say get ready for your new iPad. And no, you do not need to buy more iCloud space or any iCloud space. I never buy iCloud space. It's not something I actually like. So that's something that you're gonna see right here as your second option. So if you tap on that option, you will see this, that it does in fact give you free storage in order for you to move everything to your new iPad. So we're just gonna go on and continue on the bottom. You're gonna see that now and continue. We're just gonna tap on continue. So at this point you can choose to move your data from all your apps or don't move data from these apps. It's really your choice. In this case, most of you will want so we are gonna choose this option here. And once we do that, we will see this option right here. Well, this message is gonna tell us that we're ready. It's gonna do everything just fine. We are gonna go on and just press undone. Once we do that on the top, it's gonna say how much it's actually uploading. So right now it's only 5% done. Just wait, get closer maybe to your Wi-Fi router so this goes a little bit faster in uploading but we just have to wait. It's just a waiting game until this is done and we're ready for that transfer. Now, while we wait for our iPad to upload to iCloud, all our apps and everything, all we have to do in our new iPad, which is this one for now, again, this could be any iPad, doesn't matter how much storage, that's my what color it is, doesn't matter which iPad it is, it's gonna be the same thing. We can just swipe up and we can start to set it up. So just choose English, Choose whichever region makes sense to you. You guys have done this before and we can go on with a quick start. So in order for a quick start to actually happen, just bring your iPhone or iPad. In this case, we have another iPad just close to this and just make sure your Bluetooth is turned on plus your Wi-Fi. Then you should be okay and you should get a message right away on your iPhone or your iPad as well. If you don't just turn off and on your iPad and you should get that message. So on my old iPad, what I just did was turn off the screen, turn it back on, and then we're gonna see this message where it's gonna tell you to set up new iPad. So unlock to continue. Once you unlock to continue, it's just gonna manually do stuff for you. So right now what I have to do is basically scan this circle with my old iPad. And if I had an iPhone, I would do the exact same thing. It would be the exact same process with an iPhone. So we just have to hold this on top of the other one and then just scan that circle. Hopefully I can get that on camera. If I move this up a little bit more, I can show you guys what's going on. There we go. Now it's just scanned it. It is kind of hard to get all of this on camera with such big iPads. So right now it's asking me for my passcode and I have to use the passcode that I was doing on this iPad. So I'm just going to put in the passcode here. Once you put in your passcode, it should tell you that it may take a few minutes to activate this iPad. So just let that be on your old iPad. You should see this screen running and just make sure it is hooked up to some electricity maybe. If it's an older iPad, you might have to do that. Now on your new iPad, you will have to set up your Face ID. I would actually set that up later, but we do have to set it up right now just to make things faster for you guys. So I'm gonna show you how to set up Face ID. So right now we're gonna set up Face ID. I'm gonna teach you, and this is part of your setup process. It would be the exact same thing if you guys had an iPhone. You just have to move your head kind of in a circular, type of way, so it scans your entire face. Anyways, let's just kinda show you that. Hopefully I can get that on camera. So right now it kinda tells you how to do it. So see how he's just moving his face all the way around. So that's how you guys have to set this up as well. So we're just gonna get started. So here I am, I'm just moving my face around and that's it, scan complete. It's that easy. 
press continue and we're gonna do it again right now face id is all set up so you can just tap on continue on and right now it's gonna ask me to transfer my data from my old ipad and yeah that's exactly what i want to do so i'm gonna go out and choose continue on and yes it could take an hour it does depend on how much data you have on the other ipad so it could be a lot faster for those of you who don't have that much anyways we're gonna agree to this agree and right now we're just gonna press and continue on we're gonna enable this stuff i would like to set this up right now yeah i'm gonna teach you guys how to set this up right now might as well i usually just skip this because it's very basic it's the same thing that you would do on your iphone but if you guys haven't done this before we're just gonna continue on and do that um you can choose the voice or you can make it choose for you but you can see how which voice sounds so for me what i like is Hi, the I traditional voice. The voice i'm gonna go into like next you. and then we're just gonna read what it says right here so it says hey siri hey siri send a message hey siri how's the weather today hey siri set a timer for three minutes hey siri play some music and now hey siri is ready we can just tap on continue. We can share or not share. That's up to you guys. I don't really care about sharing, so I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share those analytics with Apple. I'm gonna share my with Apple developers as well. And right now, this is something that not everybody will see. Some of you might see, some of you might not. A software update. So in this case, I'm gonna tap on download and install. I'm gonna go and agree. And here we go. At this point, it's just a waiting game. Just keep that iPad, make sure they're both powered on. If you need to hook them up some electricity, please do so. Usually your new iPad should be around 60% battery. You should be okay with the older one. If that one's at 60%, well, usually that battery's older. So I would hook it up and keep it charging while you're doing this whole thing. All right, so after a while we should see this where it's transfer your data from your iPad to the other one. And in this one, the update that was done. So that's why it's showing me this screen. I can just swipe up. And when I swipe up, I just have to put in the passcode that I had set up from before, which is the passcode from this iPad. In this case, since the screen turned off, that's why I had to do that. Now we can just leave it. And it's okay if the screen shuts down as long as the iPad itself does not shut down by itself. So again, it's fine if one iPad shows me that it's transferring and the other one tells me the same thing. And they should tell you around the same thing. So 12 minutes, 12 minutes. It's okay if they're off by one minute, no big deal. But at this point, this one and this one, yes, this one's transferring all the information to this one. We can just let it be. It's gonna be just around 12 more minutes and then we're gonna be done. So once the transfer is complete, we're gonna see exactly that. On our old iPad, it should say transfer complete. New iPad, restore complete. We can just tap on continue on. Now, a question that I always get is, does everything get wiped from the old iPad? or old iPhone because you can do the exact same things in between both new and old iPhone. And the answer is no, nothing happens with your old iPhone. With your old iPhone, you have to manually factory restore it if you want to delete all your personal information from there. So once again, on our old iPad, nothing is getting deleted. You have to manually delete it if you want to later on. All we did was transfer all your information from there to this new iPad. But as of now, you should see this, welcome to iPad. We can just get started. And as you do, there's gonna be a lot of apps that are gonna download. Now, something that tends to happen is that these downloads sometimes take forever. So if there's been a few hours and your apps, you don't see that anything's happening, they're not actually downloading, well, maybe you just have to sign it back into your Apple store. So just open up your app store. It's gonna ask you to sign it if you have to. So in this case, for me, for example, it did in fact need me to sign back into my Apple ID in here. So I just have to put in my passcode and that's about it. So right now I can make sure that those apps are actually downloading because without that, they just wouldn't download and they would be stuck in that limbo forever. Now, as for your passwords, that's something that you could look up in your settings. Now it depends. If you guys use Keychain, yes, your passwords would actually transfer from your old iPad to your new one because it's in your Keychain. It is within your iCloud. And even if you guys didn't ever purchase any additional iCloud space, you would still have that chain active. Which by the way, that's my case. I do not purchase any extra iCloud storage and I still have my Keychain active. So in my Mac and iPhone, I actually have the same passwords that are saved here in Safari or anywhere else within 
the app post system. You may notice that apps are actually downloading. So this one, you can see the circle is going and it just downloaded. Right now, what I can do is go back to your settings. In your settings, the last thing you guys have to do is just update Apple ID settings and finish setting up your iPad. Those are the last two things we have to do. So that way nothing will get stuck and your keychain plus all your password would just transfer over just fine. Now my old iPad, I'm just gonna get back into it. I'm gonna see transfer complete. I can click on continue and it's gonna tell me this. Do I want to erase this iPad? Which you can. At this point in time, you can do that. Or what you can do is just skip that. Keep using this iPad. You can use as many iPads as you like with the same Apple ID. It's your Apple ID. You can have a bunch of iPads at your disposal. So I'm gonna put not now for now. And there we go. I can keep using my old one, use my new one. And if I ever want to wipe this one clean, well, I do have a separate video that shows you how to factory restore, but it's extremely easy. You would just go right into your settings. You go down here where it says transfer or reset iPad. From here, you would choose the second option down here below where it says erase all content and settings. And after you choose erase all content and settings, you're all done. It's just gonna wipe this one clean. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.